if you are doing interview preparation for Microsoft, then this video can help you. So I will share what you can expect during the DSA round of Microsoft, right? So let's see this. So generally, if you see lot of interview experiences shared by people, right? So what do you summarize from that is generally two DSA round we can expect, right? The DSA round generally for the coding round, they shared, I think Codility link they will share. Right? So mostly they have mentioned that, that they have been provided with a Codility link. Over this, they have to do the code and run the test cases. So what level of questions we can expect, right? If you are in, uh, appearing for the interviews. So let's say one of the, let's see two of the questions and we see the, like what level of questions we can expect. So let's say one of the question is that we are given a matrix, right? And H represent like a house and S represent a store, right? Let's say this is like this H S H H S. So this is a matrix is given. What we have to find out is our output should be what is the for each house in what minimum step we can reach to the store. Let's say from this, from this in one step I can reach to the store, right? From this, like here one, two, one, two, in two steps in the minimum I can reach to the nearest store, right? Either this or either this, right? Similarly for this in one step I can reach to the store and this is the store itself so it should be zero. Uh, that it should be one. So you got it right. So we have the our output should be like a matrix in which from each house and what is the minimum number of steps we can reach to the store, right? So seems like a BFS or DFS program. Uh, we need to see that, but or uh, through uh, yeah recursion we can solve it either BFS DFS we need to see. But this is a question which has been asked and what is the another set of question has been asked to is let, let's say you are given a string. Let's say that A, 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 B, uh, C, D, F, G like this. You are given a string and you are also given an array of you can say that uh, some letters like A, B. Uh, let's say A, 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 C, D. Right. So consider that this is a tag. This is a tag list. <clears throat> so what is the output we have to do is we all this tag, right? We have to make the string bold, right? All this tag. So this AB, so this AB should get bold. So here in this case, uh, so generally here, it should be A, 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 then this bold start. A, B, bold close, right? Then C, D, F, G. Then after A, A, A. So this A, A, A should also be bold. So this bold start and uh, this is bold, this is bold. So ultimately bold end should will happen at here, right? So A, B would be like this. So A, A, B. So triple A, 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 B. So this is all bold. Then after that C, D. So this also should be bold. So in the same C, D should be bold also, right? So bold start here. Now bold end should be here. So bold end should be here. C, D, bold end. So all these, you can say that sub string, which is mentioned into the tag list. We have to return a string by adding the bold tags, right? So A should be bold, A B should be bold, C D should be bold, right? So we have to be like bold start, bold end. So they should be marked as a bold. Just consider that how it would be seen in an HTML that this all would be in bold letters would be shown. So these are the questions, right? And uh, I am thinking of practicing this two questions. Uh, you, as you already know, I am doing daily practicing, right? Uh, DSA. So I'm thinking of uh, picking this two questions first and then we'll resume from the uh, top interview questions list, right? So yeah.
this is the recently two question dsa interview experience which has been shared and if you are preparing for microsoft this video can help you thanks bye